thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Experience Michiana. We are in Bourbon, Indiana right now at Create Your Canvas, and you're going to find out more about that on next week's show as also the splatter room. Yes, we're going to take a shot at that. Just take a look at that. Wait till you find out. We're getting it's messy. So and fun. much fun. <laughs> but we have a great show we for you. Do. This, this, and I am so excited about this one because I am a foodie, and this week is really kind of the feature of it because Niles is getting ready for their first ever restaurant week, and I'm really excited about that coming up. So we're going to be talking about that. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have to talk about? Well, I went to Iron Shoe Distillery, and I have to tell you, the food is fantastic. So if you're on a diet, forget about it. <laughs> okay, forget about it for a week. Just put it aside because we're going there. And where else are we going? Well, you know what? While we're in this creative mode, there's a newer restaurant called Create Bar and Grill, and that's up in Niles, too. And I have to tell you, it is just amazing because not only is it delicious, but the food is like artwork itself, too. Wow. It's amazing. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Because because we've got to tell you about all the places that are taking part in Niles Restaurant Week. I was able to check in with the Chamber of Commerce who's helping to put this on with Eileen. She's going to tell us more about it. It's so exciting that our restaurants are opening back up in the state of Michigan. And with that, the Greater uh, Niles Chamber of Commerce, along with some other organizations, are putting together the first ever Restaurant Week. I'm super excited about this. And I have with us Eileen Villanueva with the Chamber. And welcome, Eileen. Thank you for having me. And so this is coming up here in a couple of weeks. What are the dates for the um, for the restaurant week? It'll be the first week of March, March 1st through the 7th. Okay, so that's that Monday through Sunday, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we can and have a great are, weekend. <laughs> yes, yes. And there's a number of restaurants included in this, uh, quite a few, in fact. What are some of the restaurants that are going to be taking part in restaurant week? Yeah, so we have about 18 restaurants um, that are participating businesses, and I'm just going to run through them. Does that sound good? Absolutely. All right. We have Apothecatees, Brouhaha Cafe, Great Bar and Grill, El Amigo Pepe's, Front Street Pizza Pub, Gabrizio Italian Cafe and Bakery, Iron Shoe Distillery, Jay's Lounge, Jim Smoking Cafe, Joey Armadillo's, Lakeside Bar and Grill, Niles Brewing Company, The Nugget, Pizza Transit, Plaza Restaurant, Prime Table Restaurant, Vini Sweet Shop, and Wings, etc. That was a mouthful, and I expect my mouth to be full after eating all Oh those my gosh, too. I know. It'll be great. So many, but such it's a great really variety. A wide variety of a cuisine, yes. too. Yes, absolutely. We have a great spread of restaurants. They're all fantastic community partners. It's going to be amazing. And now, uh, who came up with this idea? How did you guys collaborate to make this happen? So I think it came a lot out of a discussion that was held between some community partners that were really looking at a way to support the restaurant community in these very trying times. We are just at the chamber really lucky that we were invited to be part of this conversation and be one of those organizing partners. So we're really just grateful that we were able to help make this possible and help assist this program to come into the light. Absolutely. And now many of these restaurants are doing some special you know, menus or special deals. Do you have any of those that you can tell us about? So one of the really cool ones that I'm just going to highlight is with Apotheca Teas. They're doing a Mad Hatter's traveling tea party. So it's like a really special like lunch or um, like tea and um, different kinds of scones and different kinds of like goodies that you can come by and get. And it's only available that first week of March. But that's just one example of what's going to be available. Every restaurant supplied their own menu. So some have created special menu items. Some have just gotten really great deals on like fan favorites. It's really a variety, but everybody's doing something a little special for their customer base. And what I love about it with it being so many restaurants all week long, let's say you go to lunch and dinner every day, you can essentially hit every restaurant. And it's so important to support these local businesses right now, especially. Absolutely. That's really where the heart of this program is, is it's coming together and supporting our business neighbors that really make this community shine. We want to show them how much we appreciate them and how much we appreciate their impact on the community. Awesome. And now where can people find all the information about Restaurant Week? You can visit our website at eatdrinkniles.com or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash eatdrinkniles. Awesome. And are you guys offering some kind of like a hashtag people can check in throughout the week too? Yes, absolutely. Use hashtag eat drink Niles. There's also going to be a photo contest available to anybody that's coming out. If you take a picture like at the different restaurants, you can be entered to win like a different gift card or little prizes that kind of just showcase the downtown even more. 
and I know this is restaurant week, but it's important to continue celebrating and, and, and uh, supporting our local community businesses to keep them going, especially through these trying times that we've all been through, not just during the first week of March during restaurant week, but all year long, really. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're hoping that, you know, you can come to the 49120 for restaurant week, but you'll also pay visit to maybe some of our retail stores and other businesses in the area and just kind of really experience all that Niles has to offer. So I'm going to guess that this is the first time doing this, but this is something that I expect will be happening again and again in the future years. Oh, I hope so. It's been a lot of fun and I think that it's going to turn out great and we'll want to keep doing it. Absolutely. Well, we are appreciative of your guys' support and all the other people who help make Restaurant Week possible. I'm excited to get out and try some of them in the upcoming weeks too. So that's really exciting for the community too, to take part in that. Absolutely. We're happy to have you out there. Awesome. Thanks so much, Eileen. Thank you. I can't believe there's 18 restaurants taking part in the Niles Restaurant Week, and I am planning on scheduling them all out for the week so I can sample everything. I'm with you, Courtney. I'm with you. But let's go to Iron Shoe Distillery, where we'll find out more about the food, the cocktails, the spirits, and a slightly scary legend. Ooh. Just a little. It is finally Friday in Michiana, and I don't know about you, but I have been cooking all week long. And you want to know something? I am done. I do not want to cook. So I thought, hey, this is the perfect time to visit Iron Shoe Distillery and get some great takeout. So excited to be here. And Laura, you're the owner, and well, it's family owned and operated. I want to just tell you, I'm very hungry. <laughs> I am super hungry today, so very excited to be here. But there's also a legend to this place, right? This place is great, but there's, there's a legend. It's a little scary too. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So the, the name Iron Shoe Distillery comes from St. Dunstan. And St. Dunstan was the patron saint of farriers. And so farriers, they um, do horseshoes. And I'm an avid equestrian and my husband enjoys horses. Our kids ride horses. And so it all just came together when we were looking at this building and this spot. And so we found that legend. And so St. Dunstan went around town and he nailed horseshoes above the doors. And the idea was to keep all the bad spirits out. So we make spirits. And so our whole idea is only letting the good spirits in. So in terms of good people, good vibes, and then the spirits that we make here. Right, and I can't wait to find out more about <laughs> the spirits, the good spirits. The good spirits, <laughs> Not the bad yes. ones, the good ones. <laughs> But also this place was an, was it a muffler shop? It was an old muffler shop. Wow. So, um, and we've got these old pictures that show what it used to look like. And it did take some vision when we first saw this space to come up with what it looks like now. And it mm -hmm. worked out really well because we distill everything. We make everything here. So the back um, big garage doors open up perfectly. We have our still back there, all our big equipment. And then this space we added on, we added the garage doors to let the natural light in. And we have an outdoor patio in the summer so it really just came together really well. So you distill everything here and then you also use grains from local farms. We do right mm -hmm. here in Niles. We get our corn right here in Niles and we source everything else as locally as possible. So um, that's been really important to us and it's we live in the Midwest so there's lots of farms lots of fields nearby so it works out really well. I know we're going to find out a little bit more about the spirits with Michelle but there's some really interesting Concoctions, can we say? <laughs> That's what we're all about doing craft cocktails. So um, taking things that people are familiar with and then adding that special little twist to them. So some of our special spirits, I think our most popular spirit here is our limoncello, and it's an Italian liqueur, a lemon flavored liqueur that's been really popular. And all of our whiskeys and our bourbons are single barrel. So we're, we're a small operation. My husband is the distiller, so he makes everything here by hand. And so every whiskey, every bourbon, there's just one barrel of that exact flavor profile. So that's really unique. Um, a lot of the other distilleries, you know, they make these huge batches, but here you can come here and there's always going to be something different, a different spirit, a different cocktail, something different on our menu. That's great. Speaking of the menu, I had a friend that came here a couple of months ago and she said that the food was to die for. She said it was just fantastic. Tell us a little bit about what's on the menu. You know, when it comes down to it, we're a burger place, mm -hmm. but not your average burger. So I'd like to say that they're beautiful burgers, they're gourmet burgers, and we like to put some different ingredients on them to make them more fun. 
Um, so you can definitely find some burgers. We have an awesome lobster bacon mac and cheese. Oh, wow. Um, we've got some really <laughs> great salads, some soups. So if you're vegan, vegetarian, those soups and salads might um, appeal to you. Our white cheddar mac and cheese is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then we switch out our menu frequently too. So um, we're right now we're preparing for our April 1st new menu for spring and summer. That's my birthday. So, yeah. April 1st. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> but it, we're already dreaming about summer and all those fun flavors. The same thing with our spirits. We try to switch out our cocktails every mm -hmm. few weeks, get new flavor profiles in. And so right now we're thinking about all those fruits that are, you know, fruity yes. cocktails that are about to come. So um, forget the snow. We are looking forward. <laughs> looking so. forward. Well, you will also vote at the best of the best in many categories. We've had such amazing community support, mm -hmm. um, which has been awesome. So we did. We, we always do well with our burgers and our food and our cocktails and our spirits. And so we're really thankful that everyone appreciates what we're doing. And can we just talk about the desserts? Because I do have to tell you. So I looked at your menu ahead of time. I knew I was coming out. Oh, what am I? And I saw a pumpkin bread pudding. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And so I sent my husband out to go and get it. And we had a Valentine's Day weekend. And oh, oh my gosh, it was the best. That is one of our family recipes, too. So we are family owned and operated. And we try to bring in some of those family recipes. And that's one of them. And that's one of my favorites as well. So thinking about restaurant week, I'm just going to put a little plug for our desserts because our desserts that we're featuring for restaurant week mm -hmm. are using our spirits. So we have a lemoncello Ooh. tiramisu, which is to die for. And then we also have a bourbon vanilla bean pudding. That's really, really great. So I'm excited about those because we're starting to put the spirits into the desserts, which is kind of elevate that flavor just a little bit more. Well, let's talk a little bit more about restaurant week because it's the first ever for it Niles, is. which yes. is really, that's, that's fantastic. Yes. But uh, what, what are some of the specials that you're going to be having here at Iron Shoe? So we have a three course menu. So it's a three course menu for $20, where you get to choose an appetizer, your main entree and a dessert. And then you can add on some discounted cocktails if you'd like. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'm ready to eat, but before we eat, <laughs> I've got to have some cocktails, Laura. All right, that sounds good. Michelle, you are the bar manager here, bartender manager. I have to tell you, it's been a long time since I've sat at the bar all by myself and I feel like going shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Which you do have a shot flight, don't you? We do, we have a six shot flight, it's for $12. And each week we do different infusions with different flavors with all of a variety of spirits. Um, and that's what's in these jars over here. Ah. Um, and then we list them on the board here. So it keeps things new, fun, and interesting each week. So when regulars come in, they're able to try something new every week. And so. I heard they're very unique. I saw one, I don't know if it's this week, but one that is infused with bacon. Yes, we have done that in the past. And last week we even did all Girl Scout cookies. Ooh. And we just try to keep it fun. and innovative and just it's a great way to try different things for sure well i was looking at some of the cocktails i know you're getting ready to make one for us mm -hmm. which one are you making so i'm going to make for you the smoke show mm. and it's a uh hickory smoked infused maple old-fashioned wow so, that yeah. sounds really good what's in it so i made a maple simple syrup and it comes with our two green um, bourbon whiskey and then it has a little bit of bitters and then what I do is I pour that into a bottle top mm -hmm. it off with some hickory smoke and then I serve that to you with a glass with a ice cube in it okay all right well why don't you go ahead and start making that all and right is, is it sweet does it because I do like sweet it is sweet that mm -hmm. maple syrup that's in there does give it a little bit of a sweet and it's got a little bit of a smoky so it's a little bit of both there so while you're making that, can you tell us a little yeah. bit about some of the others? Because they're such fun names. Oh, One for sure. Notorious V F I G. F I G. Yep, <laughs> that is another bourbon drink that we have, and that is with a fig simple syrup that we make um, from scratch. And then we have a little balsamic vinaigrette in there, a little bit of orange juice, and then it's shaken and strained. And it's very unique and very interesting. Very wow. tasty, though. Yeah, it sounds really good. I also saw one. I'm not taking the Lord's name in vain, but there's one called Sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh yes, that one's probably our most popular drink. It's a little spin on like a Moscow Mule. It's got mm. a cranberry simple syrup, and um, a little bit of ginger beer and our vodka, and it's very, very sweet and 
So hence the sweet Jesus. Sweet so. Jesus. Okay. And what's this one called again? I'm this sorry. is our smoke show. The smoke show. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off with the hickory wood chips here. We just top these off in the smoke gun. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add the maple old fashioned into the bottle. That'll make it nice and sweet, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're just going to give this a light here. I'm going to put oh. this in here. Wow. There's yeah. a lot that goes into this, Yeah. Huh? But it gives the customer a unique experience because what it is, serve it in the glass, well, with oh. the glass and the bottle. Oh, and there's orange in there? Is yep. There so that's orange? a little bit of the orange zest in the ice cube already. And then the longer you let the smoke sit in the bottle, the more that it'll infuse into the cocktail. So, but if you're wanting more of that smoky effect as it comes out as you pour it, then you can pour it right now if you'd like. All right, well, let's pour it. So just. Yeah. So you just lift up on this little just flip metal it thing there. Yep. Okay. I'll have to tell you, my kids yeah. nicknamed me Two Shot Kelly. Oh, <laughs> so nice. This, well, well, this is just, can we say this is kind of one? What, how many shots do you so think So that this is will a be? two ounce pour. A little All right. more because of the simple syrup, but it's got the, um, it's like old fashioned size. Okay. So. Do you mind if I just take a sip here? Oh, go for okay, it. Okay, here we go. Cheers. 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 <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Woo! <laughs> wow, oh my gosh, that is really good. good I'm not nice. used to drinking too much, but I tell you, I'll take another one. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, I'm getting the royal treatment here. I got to meet the owner, the bartender, and now the chef. And what a spread here. I mean, it's like a spread fit for a queen or a diva, either one. <laughs> but, but Tommy, why don't you tell us, because I, I tell you, this looks like I want to take a bite right now. Can I do that while you tell us what it is? Definitely, definitely. Uh, this Ooh. is our nachos here. Uh, it comes with our house-made uh, nacho cheese. Uh, we have a slow roasted pork that's on there. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here, we got corn, beans, jalapenos. The jalapenos are kind of spicy, so if you don't like it spicy, maybe opt those out. They are pretty spicy. Love spicy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here, I've got um, our house-made barbecue sauce, Michigan cherry barbecue sauce, Gosh. with um, green onions and cilantro on top. That is so good. You know what, we probably should have said what's not on there. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's the kitchen sink nachos. <laughs> that is fantastic. Sure. Oh my God, did you come up with the recipe? Um, yes, definitely. Yeah, very, very good. Now, what is this here? Is this because I heard about the famous burgers. Which burger is this? This is going to be on our special for the restaurant week. It is, um, let's see here, I'll, I'll start off with the base. It comes with a fig jam, it comes mm -hmm. with our all Angus beef patty, uh, topped with, uh, uh, let's see here, burrata cheese. It's kind of like a fresh mozzarella, but it has creamier mozzarella on the inside of it. It's like a cheese dumpling kind of thing, and it's delicious. Oh, it's awesome, gosh. melty on there. Um, topped with bacon and arugula and our house-made garlic aioli. That's fantastic. I, I love it. Yep. Yeah, no, I love that. <laughs> really that is combo. so good. That big jam, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's really called the sweet good. and salty. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> sweet and salty? Mm -hmm. And then we have some fries here. Yeah, oh, yeah, these are our truffle fries. Um, mm -hmm. They come with our truffle salt and uh, Parmesan cheese, fresh shredded Parmesan. Top of a little wow. bit of parsley. Oh, my gosh, that truffle. Oh, my it's gosh. This good. is really, really good. It's very good. And then what do we have here? Are these? Right here? This, um, these are our crispy cheese curds here. I heard about those. <laughs> For sure, they're very good. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with our house-made sriracha sauce, and this oh. is our Cubano. We did this on special a little while ago, and that's going to be a special on our uh, restaurant week here, too. It comes with uh, bread and butter pickles, mustard, our slow-roasted pork, honey ham, and uh, all pressed on our grill. Wow, that sounds comes out really... crispy, nice and flat, delicious. That sounds really <laughs> good. Now, now, what are the hours that you guys are open? Um, we are open Wednesday, Thursday, 4 to 8, uh, Friday... 4 to 9, Saturday 11 to 9, mm -hmm. Sunday 11 to 8. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I wish that I could do. Oh, wait. We have to talk about oh, the dessert. Oh, we almost forgot the desserts here. Okay. So I have the limoncello uh, tiramisu. It's mm -hmm. really good, topped with blueberries. And then this is a bourbon. Uh, vanilla bean pudding with strawberry on top. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try it. But you know what? I promised my husband that I was going to get takeout. I wish I could actually sit here and eat it all to myself. <laughs> <sighs> but now I'm gonna have to get going. But thank you so much. The food is so good. Everything is great. Thank and you so guys, much. you really do have to come on out here. Come on down to, <laughs> to Iron Shoe Distillery. Bring your family, bring your kids. Great food, great desserts, great drinks. And you know what? 
I got married just on New Year's Eve, and now I wish I would have waited until after I ate to get married, because then I wouldn't have to share with my husband. Just joking, hon. <laughs> so the legend is a little scary. OK, I feel ah, better you, now. You get it, because they, they said only good spirits. And when you go there, there's only good food, good drinks, and a good time. So Courtney, that's one of the places that you've got to put on your list. I will add it to my list for <laughs> sure. And next up, I'm heading over to Create Bar and Grill in Niles, and it is just so delicious. There is not just artwork on the table, but there is artwork on the walls, and it's such a great, inspiring place. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. My kind of food. If you're looking for a new cuisine, one of the places that you might want to check out is Create Bar and Grill in downtown Niles. And I'm really excited to be here in this new place that is just filled with artistic uh, endeavors right now. And as you can see around us, this is the mural is the first thing you see. And I have with us today Nate, who is the general manager. Thank you for having us. Uh, we're happy to have you here. We're really excited. This is just an eye catcher as soon as you walk in, right? We wanted something that when they walked in the door, Pow, it's right there in your face. But as you look at it, you can actually find little elements to it. Yeah. So for the guests that are waiting to be seated, I wanted to give them, you know, something fun to look at while they were, you know, waiting to come into the restaurant. And so. this is a newer place here. So what Brandon. was the inspiration behind it? Well, you know, uh, my wife and I, we've always been art inspired. We love art and supporting local artists. So especially with the year that everyone's had, you know, we thought, you know, if we could do something to kind of encapsulate the art and, and local artists and things of that sort from music to everything else, why not include it in what we do, you know? And I noticed too on the walls, you can see there's a number of artwork of pieces that you can purchase, is that right? Everything is for sale. Uh, and we encourage people to come in, take a look and, and, and see something. What we try to do is limit it to just a few from every artist so there's a little different flavor everywhere, everywhere through the restaurant. And these so. are local artists too? They are all local artists, That's which amazing. makes it even more, more exciting, more amazing. It so. is, and I notice even you can create your own on the tables themselves. <laughs> That's, if you want to like pretend you're an artist like me. <laughs> that's exactly it. So, uh, you know, more than just being an observer of the space, uh, what we wanted to do is actually have people interact with the space. So we have on every table pencils, crayons, a little picturesque frame, and, and that's really the best part of my job because after somebody's come in, had a wonderful meal, I look and see beautiful pieces that sometimes we take pictures, sometimes I cut them out and, and keep them because you just never know what you're gonna see. It's really, really exciting. No, so for those people who think, like when I first heard Create, I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to create my own meal, but you have a tremendous display of food on the menu. What is the cuisine like? So it is modern American. Um, we look at our food just like what you see on the wall. It's art, you know, uh, the flavors, the textures, the colors, everything else. But I wanted it to be nice and familiar. And that's really what we shot for. Uh, we were super happy to do that. It's nice having real chefs in the back. And, uh, and when people come in, I want them to feel comfortable in the space and not be intimidated by what's on the menu. So we kept it, you know, anything from brisket grilled cheese sandwiches, you know. I love that. That yes. sounds delicious. So delicious, yes. <laughs> Can we try some of the food today? Oh, definitely. We're going to try it all. So. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Let's check it out. So not only is this uh, smelling delicious, but this is just artwork. It's beautiful. Uh, we, we really look at the food as an extension of the rest of the room. It's art. It's, you know, we want it to look beautiful, taste amazing. And, you know, when it, when it comes to the table, you know, I, this is what I want them to see. So It's gorgeous. And so tell us everything that we have here. I'm so overwhelmed because I just want to eat it all right now. <laughs> so I'll just give you a nice little quick tour of, of what we have out here. Over here we have our steak frites. Along with that's our fingerling potatoes. I I've heard a to, lot about it. I know. I didn't want to do french fries. I want to do something a little different. Okay. So fingerling potatoes are it. Think of them as potato wedges. They're delicious. But with that as well, we have our mixed vegetables with Nooski's bacon. Gives you a nice smoked, mm. delicious flavor. And along the top of that, what we have is our peppercorn Hennessy sauce, which is amazing. It's it's a crowd favorite. People order it on the side for other entrees as well. Oh, so that's a good kind idea. Of, kind of moving okay. along from that, we have our salmon with a wonderful tomato uh, garlic glaze over the top with mushroom Risotto. Cannot go wrong there. All right. Uh, kind of moving through the middle, one of my favorite salads. It has the apples, blue cheese, strawberries, and it comes with a nice poppy dressing. Nice Delicious, and fresh. Delicious, fresh, uh, especially through the spring. It's going to be a crowd favorite. Yeah. Definitely. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, and over here on this, we have our Jack Daniels Tennessee Glazed Whiskey 
French pork chop. So it's okay. a mouthful, but anything with Jack Daniels on it, you're it really can't It is pretty much wrong. a shoe in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what we have along with that is our, uh, like Mama's mac and cheese, which is just delicious, homemade. Homemade. It's, it's great, again, with the mixed vegetables and Nooski's bacon. And then over here, we have a nice airline chicken breast. And on that, ah, I've it seen is, that one too. Yes, yeah, so good. So on this one, it has our, um, has our uh, barbecue sauce, which is like a jalapeno and corn barbecue sauce, a little bit of garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. But really, instead of just eating, we have to think about the drinks as well. And these are also artwork. They're <laughs> beautiful <laughs> and tasty. So okay. it's like a win, win, win. So over here we have our Jolly Rancher. It is amazing, a little tart, like okay. you would think, but uh -huh. you know, sweet and tart. Uh -huh. uh, Ticked Paradise, one thing about that is just nice and beautiful, tropical in it's flavor. Gorgeous. Look at that, and I mean, you can see all the layer. layers of colors in there. Yes, it's, it's great, and a little bit of sour candy on top, so you can't go wrong <laughs> there. <laughs> and for the bourbon lovers, which I happen to be one, uh, that's our Elijah and the Giant Peach. So, Very little good. peach schnapps, Elijah Craig bourbon. So, uh, what's your favorite? So, I, for me personally, I love our steak frites. Okay, that's steak the one I'm trying then. All right, I'm so. gonna, I'm gonna switch this over. And you were telling me too that there's more than just artwork on their walls. There's more than just artwork on the table. But you're looking forward to expanding to include other pieces of art like poetry, poetry and things like that too. Tell us about that. Oh, exactly. So what we're trying to do is, is just encompass everything artistic. You know, from our murals on the outside. Yeah. Uh, when, when we've kind of moved a little further along in, in opening up the state, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have a live stage. Uh, we're going to have live artists in the space, poets with poetry going across some of our screens and things of that sort. Uh, you know, really anything. You know, I, I embrace all the arts and, and, and we look forward to it. So anybody that's interested in discussing that with us, I'm happy to do that and as well. And what are your hours here? Currently we're open Tuesday through Sunday, 4 till 9 o'clock, and then we're actually open till 10 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. Okay, perfect. And perfect. where can people get information? On your Facebook page, website? Yeah, so uh, just uh, come on our Facebook page or createniles.com. Has all the information and any events that will be, you know, upcoming, you know, over the next few months. So. And all of these items are part of Niles Restaurant Week, which is the first ever. I'm so excited. You guys are one of the 18 restaurants participating in that. We are so excited that we were able to have Restaurant Week in Niles. Um, it is March 1st through March 7th. Everything on here is available. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing a three-course meal for twenty-two dollars, which starts with a, a salad. Okay. Your choice of an entree. I think I'm gonna get And those. then a choice of a dessert, and if I wouldn't say so myself, that's good. But oh. along with that, we are going to feature a few of our cocktails and okay. different uh, local beers as well. Well, thank you for creating with me today. It was great to be here and so glad to have you in the community here in Niles. It's wonderful, wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. Those steak frites were amazing, so delicious. And then after, I, I, I'm going to go home and eat the whole plate. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I took my food, I took it home, and I was supposed to share with my husband. Oh, and let's just yeah. say I was supposed to, supposed to. Never share happened. with my husband. But this week, well, when I get out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it again. I'll try okay. to bring some steak out it. and try to share this time. But be sure to join us on next week's show. We're here at Create Your Canvas in Bourbon, Indiana. And we're going to have a wonderful time. It's so much fun. This week, we got off food on next week we get a splatter on all right <laughs> i'm gonna get creative let's go ahead yeah, <laughs>this wnit local production has been made possible in part by viewers like you thank you